We're in St. Nicholas's Church in uh, Carrick Fergus, in front of the monument to Sir Arthur Chichester. Uh, Arthur Chichester begins life as a younger son of a landowner. There's no inheritance. He has to make his living as a professional soldier. But it's when he comes to Ireland in 1599 that his career really takes off. He's so successful as a military commander in Ulster that when the war is over, he's rewarded with an enormous grant of land, something like 100,000 acres in counties Antrim and Donegal. Uh, and uh, he serves as Lord Deputy of Ireland for a period of just over 10 years. Uh, so this monument, erected after his death in 1625, is a celebration of what he's achieved by his courage and his enterprise. Uh, for me, Chichester in many ways sums up the contradictions uh, of this period. There are two sides to him. Uh, on one hand, he is a supremely ruthless soldier. When he's governor of Carrick Fergus during the Nine Years' War, he stages amphibious raids across Loch Ney, right into the heart of Hugh O'Neill's territory. But when the war is over, he actually opposes the uh, Ulster Plantation. Uh, because he feels that the only way to make Ulster stable, uh, politically stable, in the long run, is to provide uh, a reasonable amount of land for the native Irish and encourage them to settle down as law-abiding citizens. Uh, so there's a constructive as well as a destructive side. And he himself talks in his later years of how um, he is no longer a destroyer, but a builder uh, and a planter.